Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alan and this is my life in Taiwan. And let me start this video by wishing all of you a very, very happy Lunar New Year. The year of the ox is upon us. And as I publish this video, it's Lunar New Year's Eve here in Taiwan. And many of you watching this are probably surrounded by family about to sit down and enjoy your Lunar New Year's Eve meal or indeed have already eaten it and are now dozing off on a sofa, very content with all of your loved ones around you. And I couldn't be happier for those of you that are. And despite the title of this video, I don't want it to be a negative or complaining style of video. There's just a feeling that I have that I really want to share as I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world with this feeling, especially this year where there are probably so many Taiwanese people overseas either unable or finding it very difficult to get home and celebrate the festivities with their loved ones. So as happy as I am for those of you that can be together at this time of year, let's take a look at some of the reasons the Lunar New Year Festival isn't such a happy time for me and some other foreigners here in Taiwan. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is about recently in Jonas's video, I mentioned that in 13 years, I've never been invited to a Lunar New Year's family banquet. And I was kind of making the comments as if I was really sad and hurt about it. But to be honest, it was a little bit tongue in cheek because I completely understand that the New Year's dinner is a family event. It's not an event for friends. And many people reminded me of this in Jonas's comment section and told me that it would actually be very strange to have friends over at your house for this particular event, um, regardless of whether they were foreigners or Taiwanese. So I fully understand that and I'm not expecting sympathy or invitations out of pity, but it is a reminder that my family are very far away. And despite the fact that we wouldn't celebrate Lunar New Year at home anyway, it's just really difficult when the feeling of Lunar New Year is in the air, which is very similar to the feeling of Christmas back in my home country of the UK. And this just reminds me that my closest family members on the planet are 10,000 kilometers away in England or 12,000 kilometers away in South Africa. I know many people will comment down below and you'll tell me that I belong to Taiwan and I'm one of the Taiwanese and uh, my family is here in Taiwan and you people. And these kind of comments really do help me in difficult times, uh, not just at Lunar New Year. But recently in another video with Francois uh, Yuan Yuan, we talked a little bit about foreigners having Chinese names and how often the foreigner's Chinese name doesn't have a surname. And this lack of a surname serves as a permanent reminder that we don't belong to any family here. Uh, yes, of course, there are some foreigners will marry a Taiwanese girl or a Taiwanese guy, and they maybe will adopt that family's surname. But as you may already know, I haven't remarried yet. And as such, I'm not officially considered part of a Taiwanese family here. Another thing I need to clarify is that I'm not just complaining about my general life and day-to-day -day condition here in Taiwan, as Taiwan does give me lots of benefits and opportunities that my home country of the UK didn't afford me. But this time of year here in Taiwan just isn't one of them. And being a foreigner in Taiwan during Lunar New Year generally just means a few days off work and perhaps the chance to travel a bit. In fact, that's exactly how I used to see it when I was married to William's mum. And for the first few years here in Taiwan, we used Lunar New Year as a chance to escape Taiwan, as because we were both bushy band teachers, it was the only week of the year we were actually given time off work. Therefore, this time of the year actually used to be quite a positive one for me, just not in the same way the Taiwanese people see it. One other factor that I think has had an effect on this particular topic has become quitting my job as a teacher 
and becoming a YouTuber. As a teacher, the feeling was a little bit better at this time of year because I could see the excitement in the kids. I could share the Lunar New Year feeling with my coworkers. And as the holiday got closer and closer, I could almost feel a part of that family of the company I was working for. But as a YouTuber working independently, that feeling doesn't really come as I don't have any coworkers to share the feeling with. <laughs> Are they finished? Are they finished? The noisy part? Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, so I think that was the cutest interruption to one of my videos ever. Apparently that's like a baby ceremony for Lunar New Year, where they uh, choose the baby's occupation or that kind of thing. Not too sure, but uh, ordinarily interruptions into my videos are a little annoying. But that one is super cute. But anyway, yeah, back to what I was talking about. And um, another thing related to being a, a YouTuber as opposed to a teacher. Um, 2021 has been my first ever year without a weigher here in Taiwan in 13 years since 2008. I've always had the weigher and the red envelope and that has been really tough for me this year. But I should say thank you very much to Amy from Amy Zone who invited me along to her company's weigher and involved me in the gift giving process, which was a really special feeling to be part of a, another company's intimate time of year and celebrate the Lunar New Year with them. So thanks to Amy. So there you have a few factors that affect my feeling around this time of year. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one. I'm definitely not the only foreigner in Taiwan that feels like this. And I'm sure there are lots of Taiwanese people living overseas that have kind of the opposite feeling. Taiwanese people living overseas, either because of their jobs or study, or indeed stuck overseas because of the pandemic and the travel restrictions. Just people for some reason or another, just like me, cannot be with family at certain special times of year. So my message to those people would be, stay strong, keep up the good work in your job and in your studies, and I'm sure it's all gonna be worth it when we can be with our loved ones again. Ooh. In fact, I'm actually thinking of putting together a video sharing messages from Taiwanese people all around the world that want to communicate or connect with their families. So if you are in this situation and you want to show up in my next video maybe, then please contact me on Instagram and I'll share your message to your friends and family here. But time to say goodbye and of course, Xin Nian Kuai Le to all of you watching. Happy New Year of the Ox. I really hope it can be much better than last year for us and for everyone around the world. But as for now and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace.